Greetings Broken Arrow, I'm Jennifer Sweezy, Communications Manager. And I'm Vice Mayor and Ward 4 City Councilor Scott Udy. Thank you for joining us for the latest edition of City Council Highlights. This was a relatively short meeting to allow everyone a chance to watch election results roll in, but important local government matters were still on the agenda, including a recognition from our state representatives as the happiest city in the state, a guaranteed maximum price for the Brown Kimbrough Center for the Arts, and a transportation alternatives program request for five new street crossings. Now here's more detail on what happened at the November 3rd City Council meeting. In presentations, did you hear that Broken Arrow was recently named the happiest city in Oklahoma by the website Zipia.com? The website rated over 600 cities for all the ingredients for happiness, which include a well-educated population, percent of households earning above $75,000, medium home prices, a short commute to work, and marriage rates. During the meeting, several of our state representatives presented the City of Broken Arrow with a citation of congratulations for this recognition. Next, the American Planning Association Oklahoma Chapter awarded their 2020 Outstanding Plan Award to the City for the Broken Arrow Next Comprehensive Plan. Adopted in September 2019, the Broken Arrow Next Comprehensive Plan is the City's first new plan since 1997 and the fifth in our long history. Developed with the help of a strong community team of HAF and Associates, this plan is a bold step forward for BA. The next comprehensive plan builds upon the strong history of planning and leadership in Broken Arrow, providing a success path forward for our continued growth over the next 20 years. Another award presented this week was the Water Environment Federation's Public Communication Award for the Together Project, also known as Tiger Creek Nature Park. This innovative project is a partnership between the City and Broken Arrow Public Schools to provide a real-world learning environment for students and help maintain a detention pond for protection and enjoyment of the community. In general council business, the City Council approved a guaranteed maximum price for the Brown Kimbrough Center for the Arts. Back in February, the City Council approved an agreement with Manhattan Construction Company for construction management at risk services to build the center. This is a legal departure from the usual design, bid, build process because of the special nature of many of the uses for the new building and the need to control cost. This method ensured a guaranteed maximum price would be given for the project once the design was completed last month. This week, the council approved that cost, which will be just under $4.1 million, including a $112,000 contingency. The funding for the center comes from the voter-approved 2014 General Obligation Bond and Vision 2025 funds, as well as sales tax capital improvement funds. City staff will pursue a Federal Transportation Alternatives Program, or TAP, grant for five mid-block crossings along NCOG's GO Trail Network that runs through Broken Arrow. The crossings would be on Elm at Pittsburgh Street, on Washington Street west of Elm, on New Orleans Street between Aspen and Elm, on Florence Street also between Aspen and Elm, and on Florence Street at Ash Avenue. These five locations were chosen because they would provide safe, mid-block pedestrian crossings and continuous trail connections from the Creek Turnpike all the way down to the Rose District. In community updates, great news for East Broken Arrow. The Oklahoma Department of Transportation started work on a new traffic signal at Highway 51 and Evans Road this week. This is a very important upgrade that is much requested due to the number of accidents and near misses that occur at that intersection. Drivers should be aware that the highway shoulders will be closed throughout the project and some temporary lane closures will occur as well. Weather permitting, the signal should be operating by the end of the year. Another important project coming up for us is the widening of New Orleans Street from Olive to Aspen. This project will go out for public bid next week, which means construction should begin in the early part of next year after the City Council approves a contract, likely in December or January. This project is estimated to cost about $5.5 million and is funded by the voter-approved 2011 General Obligation Bond. A member of the Broken Arrow Fire Department was honored at last week's Tiger football game as a hometown hero. Captain Joe Annan is a veteran of the U.S. Army who served as part of the Stabilization Force in Bosnia and Herzegovina. After his time with the Army was up, Captain Annan continued to serve with the Oklahoma and Wyoming Army National Guards until 2001. 
A 15-year member of the fire department, Captain Annan prides himself as a mentor to young firefighters in the department. Congratulations, Joe. What an honor. Have you seen this year's veterans banners in the Rose District? 90 banners were put up by members of our Parks Maintenance Division who did a terrific job getting them up last Friday. The banners are part of a fundraising event for the Military History Center. Family members have paid sponsorships to pay respect to their parents, spouses, or children who have served in the military. The banners will be up through Veterans Day. Speaking of Veterans Day, Broken Arrow will host its first Veterans Day Parade this Saturday. Thanks to the Broken Arrow Elks Lodge, number 2673, Broken Arrow will celebrate all veterans with a parade down Main Street beginning at 10 a.m. We encourage everyone to come on out and help us honor the brave men and women who dedicated part of their lives in service to our country. This is a good chance to remind everyone that city offices will be closed on November 11th in recognition of Veterans Day. This also means trash and recycling collection for Wednesday and Thursday customers will slide one day. So those of you who have your carts picked up on a Wednesday will have them collected on Thursday next week. And residents with Thursday service will have their trash and recycling collected on Friday. The holiday season is almost here. There are numerous events planned over the next several weeks and it all kicks off with It's a Wonderful Life in Broken Arrow on Thursday, November 19th. The tree will be lit up at 6 p.m. in the plaza. Also, the ice rink opens November 13th this year. Find other events for the season at brokenarrowok.gov slash calendar or on our various social media pages. Finally, congratulations to Ward 1 Councilmember Deborah Wimpy for earning the Certified Municipal Official designation from the Oklahoma Municipal League. This achievement is earned by completing a training program through OML that demonstrates civic leaders' dedication and commitment to developing their skills and enriching their expertise in local government to be effective leaders. Great job, Deborah. It's a great pleasure working with you. And that's all for this edition of City Council Highlights. The next meeting will be Tuesday, November 17th. Stay safe and we'll see you around town. For the full agenda and video of the City Council meeting, go to brokenarrowok.gov. If you have any questions about items discussed in the meeting, please contact the City Manager's Office at 918-259-8419 or email mspurgeon at brokenarrowok.gov. Thank you.